Well, welcome to the uh, problems for the uh, canon. So the situation is uh, we have a very bad line. Let's try again. Uh, we have a canon, which I'll just represent like that. And it's shooting a ball, as in the simulation and it shoots it in the x direction the ball is going to fall but we're only concerned basically we're just concerned about the velocity of the ball immediately after it leaves the cannon we're not really concerned with what happens to it after that so we um the mass of the cannon is 500 and the recoil of the cannon is Two, so it's going to be going in that direction. So the velocity of the cannon, so we'll call it negative two because it's going to the left. Okay, the mass of the ball is 10, and the velocity of the ball we don't know. However, we do know that momentum is conserved, so we know that before uh, the ball is fired, there is no momentum, so the total momentum initially is zero that's because everything's stationary and therefore uh, that momentum is made up of the well we don't need to put the zeros in it'll just be the mass of the cannon times zero plus the mass of the ball times zero all right so the momentum after the ball is fired is going to be the mass, the momentum of the uh, cannon plus the momentum of the ball, and these are all vectors, although they're very simple vectors because everything's acting in a, in a line. So the momentum of the cannon is mass times velocity, just to remind ourselves that momentum is mass times velocity. So 500 times the negative 2. Because it's vectors, we need to be righteous about the negative signs. And the mass, the, sorry, the momentum of the ball is the mass of the ball, 10 times its velocity. But we know that momentum's conserved, so this momentum has to add up to 0. And that's why we uh, we're righteous here because it's all going to work out fine. So this is negative a thousand. So we move that to the other side. So we have ten times the velocity of the ball is equal to a thousand. So the velocity of the ball is one hundred meters per second. It's really difficult to make this kind of problem difficult because um, really that's all there is to it. Uh, I will do one more problem which asks a slightly different question, so just let me get that organized. All right, so uh, this time we're not going to know the velocity of anything, and so we're just going to ask for what is the ratio of the ball speed to the cannon's speed. So in other words, we're looking for this quantity. All right, so um, we proceed in the same way. We know that before the ball is fired, the momentum is zero. Uh, after the ball is fired, the momentum is the mass of the cannon times the velocity of the cannon plus the mass of the ball times the velocity of the ball. Oops, let's see if we can back up out of there. Uh, okay, figure it out. So the momentum of the ball is the mass times the velocity of the ball, but that has to equal zero. So we'll move one of those terms to the other side. Don't be worried about the negative sign. And I want to end up with VB over VC. So I'll divide both of these by the velocity of the cannon. So the mass of the cannon, hello, 
uh, is this expression. Whoops. Velocity of the ball divided by the velocity of the cannon. And since we're uh, trying to get VB over VC, we now divide by the negative of the mass of the ball. So that gives us the mass of the cannon over the negative mass of the ball equals VB over VC. And since we're only interested in the ratio of the speeds, we don't have to worry about the negative sign because that's just a direction indicator anyway. So you can just ignore that. So it turns out that the, the ratio of the velocity of the ball to the velocity of the cannon is the mass of the cannon divided by the mass of the ball. So if we toss in our numbers, we've got 600 over 5 for the ratio of the masses. And that's equal to 120. And that's the ratio of the velocity of the ball to the velocity of the cannon. In other words, the velocity of the ball will be 120 times the velocity of the cannon, he said, drawing a very bad rectangle. And really, one cannot uh, think of any crazier problems. Well, maybe somebody could, but anyway, I'm not going to. So I hope that was uh, helpful, and if you want to see more physics videos, please go to youcanlearnthis.com and check out what's there. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Remember, if you want to say thanks, then go to youcanlearnthis.com and buy me a coffee. See you next time.